Hello everyone, welcome to Suburban Stone Age. Today we're gonna melt aluminum cans. I just recently got a melting furnace and we're gonna try uh, melting some stuff. I'm getting some practice at melting things with the intention of getting onto smelting things, which are two different operations, so we've learned. So uh, today I will show you a little bit about the furnace and we will go ahead and try to melt some cans. Hang on. All right, so what we have here is my one kilogram melting furnace. I got this from Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description to a similar product. I don't know if they have any more of this specific one, um, but uh, it came with the tongs, and it came with this furnace, and the crucible which is inside. So. The way it works is whatever you happen to be smelting or melting, um, you set the display here to that temperature and it just it gets to that temperature and then hangs out there while you melt your stuff. And so you lift it up by the handle here. There's the crucible. Sorry for the shaky video. can see see in there I'm trying to like give you a peek without melting my camera okay it gets really hot in there I mean I've melted gold in this thing testing it out and that is like over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit the display is in Celsius and the melting point of aluminum we're gonna melt some cans today that's I think at about 660 degrees Celsius so I bumped it up an extra 100 degrees just to make sure we got a good melt and we will see what we get alright so what I have here is an aluminum aluminum can that had been crushed and I've kind of had to smoosh it with a sledgehammer to get it to a size that it will fit into the crucible um, this is a pretty small furnace as far as as they go so you can only fit so much in there so uh, you just get your stuff and you pop it in and then it's kinda like cooking from here you just gotta let it uh, sit there and cook give it some time so I'm gonna prepare a few more cans get them all smashed up pop them in as this one starts to melt and we'll go from there By the way guys, um, working with metal is new ground for me and I am frankly pretty wary of it. There's all kinds of funky fumes and chemicals that come out of different metals that can be toxic. So I recommend in addition to the gear that you're going to need to keep your hands and your face safe, um, I also use a mask and I'm outside. Um, so good ventilation is so important. You don't want to be breathing a lot of the stuff that can come off of metals. Just use common sense, jeans, foot protection, hand protection, face protection, and uh, common sense. And kids, don't do this by yourself. Do it with an adult, okay? Safety first. So this can, I thought I had gotten it uh, to the right size, but not quite. So. It's uh, going to melt down a little bit. It'll go down as it warms up and starts to get soft. It'll sink into the crucible, but it's, see all the smoke coming off it? Well, that's what you get when whatever's left in the can is burning off. They're using something to print on the can. Like, you just don't know what kind of chemicals are involved. So, again, that's why ventilation's important. But, you know, from time to time you can see a flame shoot out. <laughs> and then what will happen again as it gets hotter and hotter it will grow softer and softer and collapse and sink down into the crucible see there we go it's getting down in there I'm gonna go get the next one ready to put in as the aluminum starts to heat up I take my graphite rod and I'm able to reach down in there and give it a good stir. A skin forms on top and when I pull the rod out you can see that skin of molten aluminum attached to the graphite rod. And I just quench it in some water so it can cool off and see the 
furnaces busy melting aluminum. Now it's time for the pour. Set aside my graphite rod and it's time to put on my safety gloves. This is where the art of melting metals comes into play, I find. It's all in the pour. So once the metal has melted very thoroughly, use the tongs to grab around the rim of the crucible. Get a good grip through your gloves, lift the crucible out of the furnace, and in a steady motion you give that molten metal a pour into the other crucible that's waiting. Tap out to get as much leftover material as you can, and then replace the crucible in the furnace. Once you've given the metal a little bit of time to cool off, you can tap it out of the second crucible. Quench it in water to cool it off, and you're all done. All right, and there you have it. It cools real quickly in water, but this is how you melt aluminum cans in a home furnace. It's really soft pretty, isn't it? Depending on the crucible you pour it into, you can get shapes or do whatever. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more uh, videos, like, subscribe, get those notifications, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment too. I'd like to know if you have any questions about the process. And stay tuned because although it's fun to melt things, I really wanted to smelt things, including gold ore. So that's uh, coming up next. All right, thanks. Talk to you guys soon.